Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It is Monday morning, 11.30, and uh, welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. So, um, yeah, so I am at the grocery store. I'm at Pick and Save. So I have not been doing a monthly meal plan. It's just kind of been all over the place <laughs> the last month and a half or last month or whatever. But so for right now, I'm going to meal plan for a week at a time. And I haven't even been doing that. It's just been kind of all over the place. Eat this, eat that, you know, eat a can of soup here. <laughs> you know, it's just... You know, so um, I did make a meal plan for this week up to Saturday. So, but I have a list with me for things we'll need for this week, and some of the stuff will be like just uh, staples that we would use, like uh, potatoes and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I have prices down, and so it should be okay. All right, so let's go in the store and do some shopping. so i am out of pick and save now and it's almost one o'clock so yes it was very crowded in there of course the holiday season draws crowds to the store just like it drew us to the store everybody's got to get groceries so can't say anything bad about that you know um but yeah so i'll have that grocery haul for you today some of the stuff is stock up some of it is stuff we're going to use today and this week um, but there will be leftover stuff from that, even for stock up. So, so yeah, um, yeah, that, I guess that's it. <laughs> uh, it is cold outside. It's 23 degrees, feels like 18. Yes, I'm in shorts. Um, I don't know what made me think it's a good idea to wear shorts, but, <laughs> but yeah, very cloudy, my kind of day. All right, so I'm going to head home. I'm going to eat something because I haven't eaten today and uh, I am hungry. Before I left, uh, Glenn had some cereal with summer sausage and uh, soda. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go home and eat and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, everyone, so I am home now and I'm going to go through the grocery haul for you. And that way I can put some of this food away. I got to get some in the freezer. Uh, so let's get right into it. Most of the stuff here is like normal pantry stuff. Some stuff I'm going to use this week and some stuff is for stock. Um, starting off with a bag of no-yolk egg noodles. These are the bigger ones, the extra broad. And I'm going to be using that uh, part of the bag. I'm not going to cook it all. But I'll be making some chicken noodle soup this week, so I'll be needing some of those. And I'll just go around this way. Got two blocks of extra sharp cheddar cheese. Uh, basically, one is for stock. One or part of one is going to be for what I make tonight. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, a little tube of summer sausage. Sometimes we like to have sandwiches with summer sausage on it for lunch. Or if we get hungry later at night or just a snack, you can also cut some of that cheese up with it and cut some slices of summer sausage with some Ritz crackers and yellow peppers and things like that. So, all right, uh, got a jar of marinara sauce, which will go with the tube of breadsticks. Glenn likes these breadsticks. I do too, uh, but he likes to have those in case he gets hungry you know, some of those late night snacks and things like that, or a whatever, midday snack. Um, two containers of chicken broth. This is two pound 
container. So I got two of those. And two of the chicken bouillon cubes. I know they sell the powder and everything, um, but I just chose to get bouillon cubes. I got two of these. So some of that will go in the homemade chicken soup, uh, along with the juice that the chicken creates when it cooks. And got this for our uh, strawberry uh, cream cheese. And what I got that for was some bagels. Glenn likes the strawberry stuff. We both like it. Um, so I got plain bagels. And I also got cinnamon raisin bagels. I like cinnamon raisin pretty much everything. And so what I'm going to do, because this type of cream cheese is really expensive. So I'm going to use regular cream cheese on my cinnamon raisin bagels so I got a two pack of the cream cheese and you all know I use that for desserts and other things so what I'm going to do with the bagels since I got two packs and we won't eat all those right away I'm going to start uh, basically package them up with a certain amount in each one and put them in the freezer so that's what's going to happen there so a lot of this stuff we're not going to eat all at once, so obviously it's just going to be for stock. Got a container of sour cream. Showed you the breadsticks already. I got a box of white cake mix uh, so that I can make a jello poke cake on my birthday. So got that. And also got this frozen pizza. Uh, we've never had this brand before, Screamin' Sicilian. This is a thin crust pepperoni. And what we would do is just split it in half. Glenn can put all his other stuff to make it a supreme on one half. And I can throw pineapples on the other half if I want. And it already has pepperoni. So, yeah, last night we, uh, we were up late and we were both hungry. And I said, this is where a frozen pizza would come in handy. But we ended up eating the rest of our... Uh, uh, noodles and chicken so I'll be making a different supper for tonight and then this is for those instances where we're hungry we're up late or midday for lunch or whatever and you all know the cost of frozen pizzas is not cheap but neither are pizza places like going to get a pizza so the cheapest place we get a pizza um I've gone, I've showed you those pizzas before. They're like $9 for a large um, extra cheese, extra sauce, or pepperoni, whatever. But they have also gone up in price, so now it's like uh, over $11. So this was $9. Um, so <laughs> so I guess the, the convenience there is if we did ha feel like having a pizza, it's already here at the house. We just have to pull it out of the freezer versus going all the way to the south side of town to buy one and they're a little more costly now so all right um just and we don't buy frozen pizza that often so I just thought we'd uh try a different brand all right so I gotta get that in the freezer and put this stuff away and bring on some more stuff all right so here is the next group of items some snack stuff some for desserts uh breakfast stuff and uh yeah <laughs> so let's just get into it uh got a pack of bacon uh we're either going to use we'll probably use half of it for i thought maybe to have some blts this week either for lunch or whatever but and then we can save some for like a breakfast or something so one pack of bacon did get a pack of lunch meat some ham and for that, Glenn likes to have his sandwiches on rolls, so I got some rolls for him. And we can either have that, or peanut butter and banana sandwiches, or summer sausage sandwiches, so we should be set for lunches this week. All right, I uh, got two tubs of Cool Whip, and this is the extra creamy. One for sure is going to be for my birthday cake on Wednesday, and one basically for stock up. So my birthday cake... Uh, I think I'm just going to make the half size, so half the box mix, or the cake mix, uh, in the 8x8, that we just don't eat a whole cake anymore. 
And for my birthday last year, um, I ended up getting or buying at the store one of those already made cakes in their bakery shop. Um, it wasn't a quarter sheet. It wasn't a half sheet. It was the smaller one, maybe an eighth sheet. It was just like that wide and that long. And it was really good. There were really good cakes there. And it was a marble. It had a wintry scene on it. It was so beautiful. And it was really good tasting. Um, and then in the summertime, I got one for Glenn. So before that, we always just made a jello pulp cake for our birthdays. But this one, you know, time for each of our birthdays, we bought one. But they're not that cheap. <laughs> So I went to go look at the designs and there really weren't any good winter designs or Christmas designs. So, and they're like $15. So I thought, no, I'll just make myself a, <laughs> I'll just make myself a Jell-O poke cake. So got the fixings for that. And then Oreos. These had, now some of this stuff I got cheap on a digital coupon or a sale item. So the Oreos were on a digital coupon for $1.99 each, and you could use it up to five times. Well, I like double stuff Oreos, so there's certain things I have to have milk with. One is Oreos. I have to dunk my Oreos in milk. Uh, the other is waffles or pancakes. <laughs> but um, So I like double stuff. Glenn does not. So... Instead of buying just another chocolate Oreo with the white frosting, but thinner, um, he said just get the golden ones. These are good too if you've never had these. Golden Oreos and lemon Oreos are really good. So, and what I'd actually, I've been wanting to do it every time we get Oreos and I never do it, is I'd like to make some fried Oreos. Glenn doesn't like them so much. I do. So I might just take a couple of them and make myself some fried oreos sometime but yeah that's the snack stuff and then did get a a party size a bag of lace classic potato chips this was also a digital coupon regular price on this is oh they don't put it there no more <laughs> but it had a digital coupon. I'll have to check what the price was, but that was a good deal. And with sound, when we have a sandwich or something, we just like to have some chips or something. So got that. And then some orange juice for breakfast. like to have that for breakfast. And I haven't gotten orange juice in a while, so uh, needed some orange juice. All right, so I still have produce to show you and meats. Got good real really good sale on meat so let me put this away and I'll bring those on oh yeah and for like this ham forgot to mention um this is a big pack of ham and we don't always eat it right away so what I'm going to do is take half of it right away and freeze it and that way we have it for another week all right so it's going to serve us for a couple different weeks so we won't have to buy more that's what I'm doing with some of this stuff, especially like the meat sale. Um, did we need the meat this week? Well, I'll talk about that when I get to it. Okay, everyone. So here is our produce plus one dairy product back there. Uh, probably should have put it in another section, but that's okay. But this is all the produce I picked up for us this week, for this week. And uh, well, some of it's going to be for... Like the onions, I got a three pound bag of onions that'll last for a bit. And uh, Glenn likes these uh, green onions. So I got two stocks of that for him. Sometimes he'll, he'll eat that with like a sandwich or something. And then got two cucumbers and a uh, head of lettuce. And so probably want to have a salad this week. Uh, that's why I picked up cucumbers. I got tomatoes. Now I got a head of lettuce. So the head of lettuce will be for like three different things. Uh, BLTs. I have tacos on the menu for this week and just a salad. So sometimes just a salad tastes pretty good and could even make it into like a chicken salad or something. All right. We used to eat chicken salad uh, quite a bit and then we just kind of stopped. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, 
So yeah, we'll get three different uses out of that lettuce. Got a two pound bag of carrots. Got a couple different meals that's gonna be for. One is the chicken noodle soup. And the other is when we're gonna be grilling out this week or, well, we'll grill out once this week and once next week. Um, one of them is gonna be with the pork chops we got from the pantry. And then, uh, oh, what's not shown here is a five pound bag of potatoes. I have it in the hallway. And uh, so yeah, I, along with this, I got a five pound bag of potatoes. So when we grill out those pork chops, I usually do like almost like a foil pack with some uh, slices of carrots, slices of potatoes and cut up onion with some butter, seasoned salt, pepper, put it in the oven. So that'll be in the oven while I would be grilling out the pork chops. So two pound bag of carrots will go for two meals. Uh, might have leftover too. We'll see. Depends how much I cut up for each meal. And then, got a tri-colored bag of bell peppers. I'll be using the red one tonight, or maybe just half of it. Depends. I'm not going to make as much, but what I'm making tonight is a sombrero salad, and I need a red bell pepper. If you buy the bell pepper separately, they, it would be more. Um, so I just bought the three-pack, which comes out cheaper, and they didn't have the single red peppers, so... Um, the other two I'll just cut up and put in the freezer for when we want bell peppers for something. And if I just use half of the red one, I'll cut up the red one and put it with the others. So, and that might even give us two servings of, for a meal. All right, so definitely need the red one for sombrero salad tonight. So got some bell peppers and tomatoes. Definitely got some use for these. Uh, we do put fresh tomatoes in our sombrero salad, so I'll cut up some for that. Some can be for a salad, some can be for the tacos. So yeah, these have as well three, uh, three meals to get out of that. And got four bananas. They're just coming out of the green stage. So I like them when they just come out of the green stage. Glenn likes them. He doesn't eat bananas just like that. What he does have bananas for is peanut butter and banana sandwiches. So those rolls I picked up, he'll use for that. But if you recall in last week's uh, food pantry haul for our produce, one of them was bananas. And I've been leaving them sit so they get to the point where he would like to eat it in a peanut butter and banana sandwich. So, but... Again, we like it the opposite way. He likes them with the brown spots. I like them just at a green stage. So got a couple of bananas. And then, uh, and I love bananas. I could eat, I, when bananas are just at the right time, give it another day or so, I could just eat one after another. All right. And this two pound bag of four cheese Mexican. It has fancy shredded blend of Monterey Jack, cheddar, Queso, quesadilla, and asadero cheese. This is a two-pound bag. It had a digital coupon for $5.99. Two pounds. So, good price. Couldn't uh, pass up getting that for stock up. So, I'll separate that and put it in our freezer. All right. So, I'm going to put... I think I went over everything here. I'm going to put this away. And the last thing I'll bring up is the meat. Oh, what I haven't showed here also is... Uh, Pepsi, um, Pepsi was on sale for, for $12. I did pick up a couple of Pepsis, a Mountain Dew and an orange. So that's not pictured here. All right, so I'm gonna bring the meats on. All right, everyone. So here is the last of the grocery haul and it is the meat and it was on sale. Between all of this was just about $28 in savings. And that's good. So, the roast over here, I'll put the camera a little closer. So we got one tip. This is a beef sirloin tip roast, and this is a rump roast. Each one was about $10 off for the sale, and they're each three pounds each. So just $20 in savings right there. So that is really good. And do we need the meat this week? No, but who knows when these are going to be on sale again. And now we have them for stock up. 
So that's part of our meat stock up right there. And seeing as they're three pounds each, what I can do is cut them both in half and freeze them. And that way it gives us four different meals. Um, the This one, the sirloin tip roast, uh, I think I'm going to just cube up for like beef tips. And I think that'll work out good. Uh, I don't know if I'll do the whole thing. Um, but I think for sure cutting it in half and cubing it for beef tips would be good. And this one would be used obviously for a... Uh, I cut it in half because look how thick they are. That's pretty thick. And my two uses out of that, one could be um, if I slice it thinly... I could possibly do uh, broccoli beef with that on one and maybe some uh, French dip sandwiches. We'll see. Yeah, I think so. Because we have that other roast in the freezer that we got from the pantry, uh, was it last week or the week before? So we're going to use that one for uh, a pot roast. And yeah, so we got, we'll got we have some good use out of these $20 in savings just right there. And then what we also got is two packs of chicken tenderloins. And both of them were about $4 off. So another $8 to $9 in savings here. And there's a lot in there. So I'll split the each pack up and put how many in each pack and then throw them in the freezer. So that's another good stock up on chicken. Plus, we still have those boneless, skinless chicken thighs we got a couple weeks ago. We got some chicken breast in there. We've, you know, this is going to add to our, our meat stock up. Um, for the tenderloins, you could bread them and put them in the oven for chicken strips or coat them and fry them for chicken strips. It, it's basically chicken breast cut up. So, treat it the same way as chicken breast. All right, so... Almost $28 to $29 in savings in meats here. And like I said, we don't need them right now. But now we have them. We got them on sale. We got a good price on them. So next week and probably the week after, if there's no meat sales at all, we don't have to buy meat because we just stocked up on meat. All right. So that is the grocery haul for this week and a good stock up. So... I'm glad I did the grocery haul right now because I still haven't eaten. I was going to eat first and then do the haul, but I figured, well, I better do the haul before I start digging in the food that I just got. So, all right, I'm not sure what I'm going to have, a sandwich or a salad, or maybe I'll have a salad and a sandwich. Who knows? But I'm going to eat now, and then I'll split all the food up and throw it in the freezer. All right, so stay tuned for the rest of the day, and like I said, tonight I'll be making a sombrero salad. Hey everyone, I am outside. I just finished uh, filling up uh, both bird feeders and uh, and uh, <laughs> these. So I've been saving my pasta sauce jars for crafting. And when you peel off the labels, you get that one streak that has like the gunk, the sticky stuff. And so what I did was I brought them out to the garage and cleaned um scraped a little bit of that stuff off but then I uh, wiped it down with acetone and it took it right off so I've got two jars ready to use for some Christmas and winter DIYs so what I want to do is I'm going to put some uh, make kind of like a winter or Christmas scene I'm going to put some snow foam, glue some uh, trees down and just make a couple of Christmas and winter scenes in there and yeah, so I'm I'm saving all my jars. I probably got more that I saved um, <laughs> in that cabinet in the kitchen that I never cleaned out. And I probably got plenty of jars in there. But yeah, saving all my jars for crafting now. So many ideas I have to do that I've seen uh, done on YouTube videos. And I love to do them. So that, and I'll show you what else I'm doing. All right, so this is just a cardboard box, a Sam's Club one that uh, package came. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting up pieces of it so I can use them for backing 
on my puzzles and other kinds of crafts. Um, I can go to the store and buy a foam board, but for now, since I'm not going to, what I mean by the store is the Dollar Tree, uh, but I probably won't be going to the Dollar Tree till Wednesday. And I put the, one of the puzzles together last night, so I need a backing for it. So these would be perfect, and uh, I'll just uh, glue them to it. So yeah, I'm uh, cutting up cardboard to reuse for crafts, and uh, yeah, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm going to go in the house now and uh, do some stuff in the house. All right, everyone so I just wanted to I'm gonna share some friend mail but in this video I'll be sharing our Christmas cards and my birthday card for friend mail and then the next video I'll be showing uh, things we received in the mail while well, we received these in the mail but um, things other than cards so I'll show that stuff in the next friend mail all right so let me go over the Christmas cards and my birthday card so this is a Christmas card. Now this person also sent me a birthday card and they never want to be recognized by name. So I don't know if the Christmas card is okay to recognize. So I'm not going to recognize the name um, just because I didn't ask. So, but look how the card knows. That's beautiful. And the birdhouse. Thank you so much. You all know what I like. <laughs> so after Christmas, I think I'm going to cut these out or take them off somehow and use them in a craft. So thank you so much. And again, I won't say the name. And this Christmas card I showed you in the friend mail where uh, she sent a box of things. And this is from Leanne. So I showed you that one. But thank you again, Leanne, for the Christmas card and the friend mail. And this Christmas card is from Kendra. Thank you so much, Kendra. This Santa Claus is the perfect Santa Claus that Glenn likes. 
He loves the old-fashioned Santa Claus. I always call him hippie Santas, but Glenn loves this. So thank you so much, Kendra. And look at this one. This is from Barb. Thank you so much, Barb. The envelope looks exactly like that. And when I got this, I was already thinking uh, to cut the bird off the envelope already. But this is from Barb. Thank you again, Barb, for this Christmas card. It's beautiful. And then this is my birthday card from the same person who sent us this Christmas card. And again, I won't say the name, but thank you so much. That's beautiful. I absolutely appreciate that. And that person also sent a gift card to Texas Roadhouse to uh, so that I can use my Veterans Day a mail voucher to Texas Roadhouse and now to also purchase a mail for Glenn. So thank you so much for this. We truly appreciate this and we'll be using these tomorrow um, for my birthday. So, so yeah, thank you so much. Again, no name on that, but these cards are beautiful and we appreciate them and thank you so much. All right, so that's going to be today's friend mail. And again, tomorrow's on the next Vlogmas video. Stay tuned for more friend mail. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to make supper and <laughs> change of supper. <laughs> so the sombrero salad that I was going to make, I'll make tomorrow. And I'm going to make it in the morning so it sits all day because I'm going to only make enough for one night. So I'll make it in the morning. It'll sit all day for the flavors to come together. And we'll have that tomorrow. So tonight, uh, I had that uh, earlier when I ate after the grocery haul. I ate a ham sandwich with uh, Miracle Whip, mustard, lettuce, tomato, cheese uh, with some chips. So Glenn is going to eat now. He's going to have a ham sandwich on a roll with just uh, a little bit of butter, pepper, He's going to have some pork and beans. He's going to eat these pickles that we got from the pantry last week. And he's going to have about five green onions. So that's what he's going to have. I'm not extremely hungry right now because I just ate a couple hours ago. But I think I'll make myself a salad. Yep, that's what I'm going to do for myself right now. After I fix Glenn's, I'll have a salad. All right, everyone, so we've got lots going on here. <laughs> this is all the stuff for a salad and Glenn's uh, uh, green onions. This is the part he eats, and he uses salt with that. So he's going to have a small salad. I'm going to have a bigger salad because he's also having the sandwich, the pork and beans, and some pickles. So making a sandwich right now. So I already froze half of the ham. So he's going to have a couple slices. We usually use like two slices at a time in our sandwich. Uh, throw some pepper on there. He likes that much pepper or more. <laughs> so, Did you want horseradish or not? Okay. All right, so there's that, and grab his pickles. Got pickles, and his pork and beans. And then I'm just gonna quick, uh, I'm gonna take this and then I'll quick make his uh, salad. So there's a uh, part of Glenn's supper. All right, so let's make the salads. Some lettuce. And then the cucumber slices, I actually cut in half, so they're a little easier to eat. They're half moons now.
All right. We're also going to have some uh, shredded cheese in our salad. Glenn doesn't take that much. So I'll make up for his. <laughs> Normally we would get like, uh, some, I didn't even think about it, some sunflower seed kernels or and put those in there as well. And we're going to use Catalina dressing. So that's going to do it for our meal for tonight and this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I truly appreciate the support. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself and be good to others. Until next time.